烧，银铃声，卡埃拉铃，阿萨卡哈拉铃，扎卡拉铃，烧埃铃铃声。Namaste. So, over the last few episodes, we've revisited our model of spiritual life, of the four vadas, huh? the chatur darshanam, four views of reality. So, that got a lot of interest. And those videos got a lot of likes and a lot of good comments. But then we started talking about non-Aristotelian logic, and what happened? Very few likes, less views.、Uh, one measure I use to gauge the、uh, impact of a video. Is how many the ratio of likes per view, and so the ratio on this last video about、uh, non-Aristotelian logic was very low. Well, what happened?、Huh? What happened is that we went into what I call beyond human intelligence. See. In order to explain this model, this chatur darshanam, you have to go beyond dualistic logic, binary logic. You have to go beyond ordinary geometry into non-Euclidean geometry, because Euclidean geometry is just as stupid as binary logic. <laughs> It cannot explain, cannot express, cannot contain the insights of the Chatur Darshanam. So ordinary human intelligence is so limited. It's, a, I mean, <laughs> when I look back at it, in the days when I used to actually think like that, I just go, "Oh my God!" You know, no wonder I couldn't become enlightened. Until I went beyond that, no wonder the people who are just lazy and want everything handed to them on a silver platter, spoiled little privileged brats, entitled little yuppies, huh? They want everything easy, you know. But spiritual life, enlightenment, isn't easy. If it was, more people would get it. You know, just like the people who leave comments calling me by guru, addressing me as guru, I'm not your guru. If I was your guru, you wouldn't be there watching this on your phone or whatever, huh? You'd be here. You'd show up. If I was your guru, you'd be following me everywhere like a little puppy dog. Because that's what guru is. Guru is your master. But if you don't accept me as a master, then don't call me master. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a liar. Don't be a pretentious asshole. So these are the hard lessons. These are the ones that go beyond the ordinary, beyond the human intelligence. Beyond anything that you've ever encountered before, because that's what enlightenment is. And if it wasn't so far out, if it wasn't so much beyond ordinary human intelligence, it wouldn't be worth striving for. If it was something that you could contemplate or realize easily, with the the stupid stuff that they program you with in school. Then there would be no need for teacher. There would be no need for guru. You would just be able to get it, you know, just by hearing about it once. 
Now, there are people like that. Sariputta. Uh, Sariputta was one of the Buddha's most, most advanced and closest disciples. And he got first path just by hearing half a shloka about the Buddha's teaching. Now, if anybody was that intelligent, <laughs> they're almost a Buddha themselves. See? So there's really no need for them to accept a teacher. But Sariputta went to the Buddha and he became a disciple anyway, even though he really didn't need to. Because once you get first path, the, getting the rest of it is more or less inevitable. It's just a matter of time. But of course, if you kick and scream and, and drag your fingernails in the dirt, it can take up to seven lifetimes, even if you have first path. But you know, most of you guys don't have even first path. You know, let's be realistic. So, you know, this brings me again to the point that I have maybe uh, belabored so many times that people watching these uh, videos are, are just up for entertainment. It's just a pastime. Or that's at best, you know. At worst, what they're doing is pretending pretending to be a disciple, pretending to meditate, pretending to understand. But how many of you have gone back, as, I've, as I have instructed so many times, gone back to the original series on this channel, Matrix Learning, the Foundation series, huh? Being in the World, The Call of the Friend, Being Integrity. You see, these are the prerequisites for this path. And if you don't have them, if you can't do them, if you don't know how to clear your misunderstood terms, you're lost. You forget it, you're nowhere. If you don't know how to clear your misunderstood terms, because the most frequently misunderstood terms are the little words that are about relationships of, and, with, such, for, that, up. Huh? Up has 27 different meanings. If you don't know that, you're just guessing. You're guessing what the word means. And of course, most of the time, you're going to guess wrong. Especially in something like this, which is beyond human intelligence. So the fact that most of you don't know this very, very fundamental basic principle of clearing your misunderstood terms means you can't possibly understand what the hell I'm talking about. It's just no way. Huh? You're probably all going to tune out, you know, and so you're going to miss the good part at the end. <laughs> I always put the good stuff at the end, you know unless I put it in the middle just to trick you. <laughs> because really you should listen to the whole thing all the way through. And you should take notes. This is a course, this is a postgraduate level course. It has a beginning, a middle and an end and it should be gone through in sequence. Right now we're at the end or near the end. So, if you haven't gone back and, and watched the beginning part of the series, going back like six or seven years, going back almost 700 videos, huh? if you haven't watched that, not only watched it, but worked on it until you got it, you will not be able to understand this. This Chatur Darshanam system requires seven valued logic to understand. Why? Because the logic operators, the logic values, are <laughs> the relationships huh? 
You could say, you know, X is true. I'm making this very basic for you stupid people out there, okay? X is true or X is false. Well, what is true and false? It's a relationship. It's a state. It's a predicate. And if you know anything about ontology, which you would if you watched our early videos, <laughs> the predicate has to specify a relationship. So if you don't understand these logic values, you can't understand the relationships among the different aspects and items in the Chatur Darshanam. So you won't be able to apply it, you won't be able to do anything about it, and it's just a waste of time for you. See, this is the thing, this is what bugs me. This is why sometimes I'll just like say, ah, forget about it, trying to teach these rascals anything is just a waste of time. Because huh? you're wasting your time if you don't approach this teaching with respect. Respect means you follow the instructions, and the instructions are go back to the beginning and watch all the early videos in sequence. Go to the playlist tab of the channel page. Huh? And this is like basic, basic stuff. But the reason why you don't get it, and the reason why you can't apply it, is that you have misunderstood terms. How many times do I have to tell you? The reason why you do silly things, like think that the, the seven logic values are absolute, or something like that. You know, this Anekantavada Jain logic is very sophisticated. It's for sophisticated thinking about sophisticated subjects by sophisticated people. It's not for ordinary, humans. It's beyond human intelligence. This whole teaching is beyond human intelligence. That's why only a few, few rare, rare people will realize it. And that's too bad, because everybody has the potential to realize it, but they can't realize it because they cling for dear life to concepts that are not powerful enough, a world view that's not big enough, and a process of thinking that's not intelligent enough to understand these deep, deep subjects. So this is why I'm telling everybody, huh? like put up or shut up. I don't care if everybody goes away and there's only five viewers left if those guys are really following the process, that's great, you know? That's why I did this. That's why I'm st I, I did all this work, you know, just to bring a handful of people, because I know that most of you won't get it. You can't get it because you don't follow the process. Duh. So I'm going to shut up for a while. I'm not going to post... Uh, any videos for a while. I'm going to go deep in contemplation because that's where my guidance is leading me. Uh, my gurus. Uh, and I'm in touch with them. And I follow their instructions. That's why I got it. Huh? So if you are watching these videos and like just fooling around and just wasting your time, you know, don't bother. Huh? What do you do? Take uh, boast to your friends that hey, I'm watching, I'm watching Babaji's videos. Woo hoo! Yeah, 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 great. If you're watching this stuff and you're not applying it, you're not following the instructions. You're wasting your time, and you're wasting my time uh, by making stupid comments that have nothing to do with the topic of the videos. So from now on, if anybody calls me, addresses me as guru, uh, your comment is trashed, all right? Because I'm not your guru. If you think I'm your guru, then come here and surrender. 
Surrender everything. That's what I had to do when I met my guru. That's the conditions he set. And I met those conditions. So I got the teaching. Aum Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum.